Hey, what's up guys? Jay Zab here, and are you like me? Do you enjoy Paldean Fates, but you can't find a booster box anywhere because they don't make them? Well, same here. I couldn't find one either, so I made one instead. I crammed 36 packs of Paldean Fates in this Stellar Crown booster box, and today we're going to open it uh, because I just enjoy Paldean Fates a lot. I really like the set, and I just wanted to open a bunch of it, and uh, yeah, and I just decided, you know what? Today's the day. Let's do it. Uh, I'm still hunting the Bubble Mew. That is my main chase that I'm still hunting from this set is the Bubble Mew and then I also need the Iono. So those are like the two real big chases that I'm looking for uh, and everything else is just icing on the cake. So hopefully we can pull some good stuff today. If you guys like content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free for you and it helps me out immensely. So thanks in advance for that. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get open it. Hey guys, real quick, I need to pick the winner of my JZab Mystery Pack. If you didn't know, every Friday I give away one mystery pack to one subscriber. All you gotta do to win is be a subscriber, uh, comment down below, and like this video, and then you have a chance to win the pack next week. But for now, we're gonna choose the winner from last week, so here we go. This is the video from last week, it was my Paradox Rift uh, Booster Box video. There was a total of 81 comments, so thanks to everybody who commented. And uh, we're going to copy the URL here and put it into our YouTube comment picker. Uh, we're filtering duplicate users. Uh, no matter how many times you comment, you only get one chance to win. And then we just got to do our little math problem here, and it gives us our unique comments, which is 36. So you get a 1 in 36 chance of winning. Here we go. Good luck to everybody that uh, commented. I hope you win. Here we go. Chris Tanaki. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a booster box of this, please. Plus, that ground on is legit. It really is legit. Too legit to quit. You just won yourself a Jay Zab mystery pack, so congratulations. Uh, you just won this pack right here, this Jay Zab pack. So, to, to get it, all you gotta do is email me. My email is in the description of the video, so just email me and we will get the pack to you. To everybody else, good luck for next week. Like I said, make sure you like and comment on this video. So, thanks a lot, and back to your video. So here is my lovely booster box I made, and uh, we're gonna put that off to the side. And we're just gonna start ripping. Uh, I made, so what I did is I took three booster bundles and two ETBs, and I opened them, and that's what I used to make this box. So hopefully those products had good stuff in it, and then today we're about to find some really good stuff. So here we go. First pack of the day. Man, I love, I like this set a lot. I like Paldean Fates. I just grabbed two cards at once. I like Paldean Fates. I liked um, Shining Fates too. So I'm a big fan of shiny Pokemon. And I'm a big fan of the shiny Pokemon set. So. Ooh, first pack magic. Let's go. All right. I hope that this is um, how the rest of this video is going to go. I hope it's just banger after banger. Espatra EX. Very cool. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I just like this set, man. I really do. I enjoy it. I. Um, I've pulled some some good cards out of this set, right? So some of the higher shiny uh, cards are like the Pikachu and the Charmander, right? That's what we got over here, Charmeleon, the Snorlax. I've pulled all of those, which are pretty pretty stellar. Uh, I've also pulled a lot of the hyper rare cards. I think the only one I haven't pulled is I don't think I've pulled a hyper rare Karidon. I believe I've pulled the Maridon, I've pulled the Chine Pao, I've pulled the Ting Lu. So um, I think it's just the Karidon. It's the only one I haven't pulled. You. But like I said, I'm I mean I'm here for whatever. I'm here for any packs, any cards that Paldean Fates is willing to give me. I'm down for. Uh I just like the set. And uh yeah, but mostly I want the bubble mew though. Mostly that's what I'm looking for. So hopefully we could find that today. I don't know. I wouldn't mind taking another Charizard too. I pulled that one, I pulled it off stream off camera. I was just Excited. Um, oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. We'll take another EX. We'll take another EX. Yeah, I was just excited to open some. I got like some booster bundles, I think. I think it was booster bundles in the mail. And I was just like, I'm just going to open one just right now because I just feel like it. And I did. And I got the Charizard. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Maybe, uh, man, maybe I should have like busted the Charizard out over here to give me some luck. I mean, I've opened a good chunk of Galdean Fates. Like, I couldn't even begin to tell you how much Paldean Fates I've opened. It's been a lot. And uh, still haven't seen the Bubble Mew. 
But I don't mind. I like this set, so I don't even mind opening a bunch of it. And I'll probably continue to open a bunch of it as long as I can get the ETBs for under 40 bucks. I'll keep I'll keep opening it. I don't mind. <laughs> get out of town. <laughs> All right, another one. So what I did when I opened uh, the booster bundles and the ETBs, I just took all the packs and I just like basically did like a go fish kind of shuffle and I just shuffled them all up and then I stacked them and then I like, you know, stacked a couple stacks, mix those stacks, stack and stack, stack. And like I said, because this is, you know, two ETBs and some booster, but yeah, there's a chance that we could get a bunch of the same pulls. Who knows? Typically, when I open this, though, I don't get a whole lot of those EXs. I get a lot of sh like the baby shinies, so I'm kind of surprised. Sometimes I have butterfingers and I drop cards. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. That's what we want to see. We want to see the Pachirisu shiny. Actually, this is a dope shiny. I like it with the pink. That's cool. I like that. Okay, let's go. There we go. Man, the other thing too is there could be double bangers in this. I uh, that was Pikachu and Raichu. I've gotten some double bangers. I got the Alakazam Ultra Rare Shiny and the Gardevoir in the same pack before. The other thing with this set too is because of the chance of double bangers, because there's the baby shinies and stuff. Um, the last time I did this and I made a Paldean Fates booster box, I got a decent amount of hits. I want to say I got like 18 to 20. I don't remember the exact number, but it was around there of, of hits in, in the 36 packs. So that's the other reason why I like Paldean Fates is like the the hit ratio is pretty, pretty high up there. So I like it. I like when I can open a set and expect to get like, you know, close, close to half the packs hits. When, when you're so you've opened a lot of evolving skies like me or fusion strike where it's you know you open 10 packs and you get zero hits it's nice when you can open 10 packs and get like four or five hits that's it's nice it makes you feel good makes you feel like you're getting your money's worth even if they're just regular exs it's better than getting nothing you know i'll take that i'll take that all day all right swoo bat come on moon the hill mouse hole Professor's research. Talking about getting hits and then I stop getting hits. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I mean, I don't know. That's just why I like this set. It's nice to, uh, it's nice to feel like you get your money's worth. You know, and for me, that means just pulling cards. Um, they don't have to be expensive cards. You know, the cards don't have to be worth five dollars six dollars every time like as long as you're getting like an ex or better uh oh yes or a shiny arc to backs let's go that's sick dude that's dope that's dope i love it i love it cool dope heat wrote him man i don't know why hold on hold on a second hold on Sorry, I, my camera was like really like it was like a brownish hue kind of in there. I don't know. Hopefully this is better. Is it doing it again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Audio and visual technic technical technic cat technic te technic technology is not my cup of tea. <laughs> if you guys are part of my live streams, then you know Neil deGrasse Tyson has showed up a couple times. Uh, and now it, I don't know why, but it's like, it looks kind of, maybe it's just like my recording. I don't know, but you can see my face. My face looks really lit up, right? Like right here in the corner. But then the cards for some reason are looking kind of like brownish tinted a little bit. I don't know why. And it could just be on my screen. Anywho, uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Paldean Fates, man. I hope you guys like Paldean Fates. I like Paldean Fates. Whenever I have a chance to open it, I do. I try to keep a, a decent chunk stocked at the JZab Card Grotto at all times because uh, whenever I feel like opening something, I just open it. A lot of times, too, if I start getting like my uh, Wheel Wednesday box kind of starts 
Oh, another EX. This time it's the old Charizard. Let's go. Dope. Dope. Um, yeah, a lot of times, like, if the Wheel Wednesday box is getting a little low on packs, what I'll do is I'll just open an ETB, and I'll be like, I'll do the old Homer Simpson. I was like, one for you, one for me, one for you. You know, so it's like, I'll put five packs in the Wheel Wednesday box. I'll open four, uh, just because I enjoy this stuff. So... But yeah, I don't, I, you know, I enjoy a lot of sets. I enjoy most sets. I've I've really been enjoying Stellar Crown. It's been pretty dope. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. And Paldean Fates. Both uh, kind of up there for some of my favorite Scarlet and Violet sets, to be honest. I've, I've been opening less and less Sword and Shield and more and more Scarlet and Violet. And I'm still enjoying myself. I, I've been opening a lot of Peldea Evolved, I've been opening the Stellar Crown, I've been opening the Peldea and Fates, I've been opening Paradox Rift, which I also like quite a bit, Twilight Masquerade. All these sets are, like, pretty legit. Like, I like them. I like them. So Scarlet and Violet kind of doing justice. The next set coming up, Surging Sparks, I'm also pretty interested in. Um, the, the Draconia. Oh, nice! Let's go! Vile Bloom Shiny. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> it's just what I'm saying, man. It's just tons of tons of hits. Shiny Pokemon are dope. I'll take it. Yeah, that Draconia set or whatever. I don't know. I'm not feeling it really. It's not looking like the greatest set. I mean, it looks fine. I don't know. I was hoping I was going to be more excited for it, you know? When I finally started seeing like all the, all like the leaks and stuff, and, and like the Japanese cards, and it's just kind of like, ah, oh, it looks okay. I'm waiting to see what happens with the rocket set. It's gonna be dope, or I hope it's dope. It better be dope because I want it to be. Ooh, the Palmy Illustration Rare. This is one of the most pulled cards in this set for sure. It's still dope. Even if it's not worth a whole lot, it's worth a lot to me. Nice. See, okay, look at this. We still got a couple packs on the side here. We got three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight hits. We still got like four or five packs on this right side. That's what I'm talking about with this set. It's it's uh, fairly high odds that you're going to pull something. You open a booster bundle, you're most likely going to get, you know, bare minimum an EX and maybe like a baby shiny. You know what I mean? So that's why I like that's why I do. It's part of the reason why I like it. Not the only reason, but it's part of it. Game erupt. We're still hunting the bubble mew. That's what we're looking for. Oh, another iron trap. All right, like I said, we might be getting doubles. We might be getting doubles. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Still hunting the bubble mew. I mean, like I said, I would take another Charizard. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Um, I'll take another Gardevoir. I actually pulled two of those already. That Clive, I think I'm still looking for. I don't think I've pulled that. And the Iono. So, I mean, I'll take any of them, you know? I'll take another Shiny Snorlax. I'll take another Shiny Charmander. Pikachu, Raichu. I like the Shiny Raichu a lot, too. So, I'll take any of those cards. Artisan. Moonlit Hill. Houndstone. What are we looking at? Three more packs? You know, it's weird because the Stellar Crown box, I was cramming all these Paldean Fates packs in there, and uh, it kind of felt like the, it can't fit all the packs. Like, maybe like the Stellar Crown, and the thing is, and I know this is going to sound crazy, because it is, but when I was opening the Stellar Crown booster boxes, I was like thinking to myself, like I was feeling the packs, I was like, these packs feel a little thinner. And I don't know if that's actually the case, but then when I was trying to put these in there, I kind of felt like, man... Um, it seems like these aren't going in there. Like, the pack should be a little bit thinner. And I don't know if that has to do with, like, maybe, the, you know, the thickness of the card. Or, like, the thickness of, like, the outer, the, the sleeve stuff, you know? Maybe? I don't know. But it's just uh, something I observed. That's all. That's all I got. Yeah. Alright, we got two more packs on the right side here. Let's get a Bubble Mew real quick and then just call it a day, huh? That's all I need. That's all I want. That's all. 
I'm asking for. One bubble mew. Finish out the old hits that I'm looking for. My chases. The Charizard was um, my main chase. And then the bubble mew is the second. And then the shiny, the regular shiny mew <clears throat> is my third. Uh, and it's because I really like mew. And I like shiny mew a lot. So I already pulled the regular shiny mew and the Charizard. That's why I'm hunting the bubble mew. All right. Come on now. Let's see it. Last pack magic for the right side. Let's just see a bubble me real quick. Go dango. Oh, no way. No way, dude. Okay, I said I would be fine pulling this again. And guess what? I'm pretty fine with it. I'm pretty, dude, this, this card is sick, bro. And uh, I got it pulled up right here. 43 bucks. That's not bad. Bro, this is the third one I've pulled. This is the third one I've pulled. All right, the last time I pulled this, there was, it was a double banger, but I had the Alakazam before it, so. Okay, either way, that's dope. That's, well, that's a good way to end the first half of the... <laughs> So that's what I'm talking about. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits out of one side of this. And um, the last Stellar Crown booster box I opened, I got 12 hits. So it's like this already it's better. And I got one of the most oh, Just so good. This is what I'm talking about with how damn fates, man. I don't think I've really ever had an opening where I was like, Ugh, that sucked. Like for the most part, when I open Paldean Fates, like I'm having a good time and I I walk away pretty happy, you know. Now again, the price is a little steep. Like the cheapest I was able to find ETBs, and I bought a bunch where it was like <laughs> Yes! Let's go, dude. Shiny Mankey all day. He's just a little mint chocolate chip ice cream kind of guy. That's what he looks like, right? Dope. That's so dope. This is what I'm talking about. Look at look how dope it is. Look at this. Don't even need any more cards. Um, Yeah, so the cheapest I think I found ETBs for were like was like 32 bucks. And this was a while ago, and I bought a bunch of them. And now you can still kind of find them for around like 38 bucks, which isn't bad. I'll pay 38 bucks for a Paldan Fates ETB. More than that, eh, probably not. I wouldn't do it. Also, if I can find booster bundles, uh, there's been like a couple times where I've found like a sale booster bundles where they were like 22 bucks. Also pretty good deal. You know, I'll take that too. When they're normally 28, you know. Moonlit Hill. Panda Mouse. Another palmy. I knew we were gonna be seeing doubles. I knew it. Yeah, I mean you're not gonna open this much different product, and not, and when when the palmy is so, it's so pullable. Yeah, I don't know what to call. It. There's so many of them. You pull it so often, so it's just. I expected to see. I'm I'm surprised we haven't seen a palafin yet. To be honest, that's the other one that it's like you see those constantly pulled from this set. So, Bampy, Whoop, Bat, Dedenne, Noibat, Doxbun, Gengar, come on now. Electric Generator, Bubble Mew, come on, Relore. <laughs> it's another shiny though. This is that, this set, this set, this set. Let me just, let me just talk to you guys about this set. Awesome shiny. It's just a different color. I mean, the mask is different, and the, the poo that it's rolling is different, I guess. I don't know. It's a weird Pokemon, to be honest. I don't, I'm not a fan. This is weird. All right. Weird poo, poo roller, and next up is the Bubble Mew. We're going to pull it. Come on. Today's got to be the day, man. Like I said, I, had, I have a good amount of ETBs and stuff, <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that it's unlimited. I still have a limit on how many I have and how many I could open. So I would like to pull a bubble mew here at some point during my journey of opening these packs. Hopefully one day. And uh, hopefully today is one day. So here we go. Next pack, bubble mew, another Gardevoir or a Charizard. Any of those. Shiny Snorlax, Shiny Charmander, Shiny Pikachu, Shiny Raichu. I'd be happy with all of these. I or and the Iono too. Yeah, the Iono. I would like that too. 
get bloom shiny, I will also take. Man, this is bright pink. So much pink. So fantastic. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Shinies all day, man. Shinies all day. I'll take it all day. I can do this all day, son. All day. You guys ever watch New Girl? That's uh, that's the episode with Schmidt with the guy in the casket. Do this all day, son. Anywho. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so. The, yeah, that, that Paradise Draconia or whatever that set's gonna, gonna be called. Man, I, I'm just not feeling it. The Latios and Latias are pretty cool. And then the rest of like the quote unquote chase cards are just kind of like, eh, they're all right. Very Shrouded Fables feel for me, you know? Oh, Nimona Full Art, let's go! Dude, I still like this one better than the Special Illustration Rare. I don't know what, what, why, but the Special Illustration Rare, there's just something weird about how she looks. Like the artwork, I don't know. It's just something weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, like Shrouded Fables, it was like there's like two or three cool cards, maybe four. And then the rest are kind of just like, yeah, they're, they're fine. It's not like... <sighs> You know, because the thing is with Pokemon card sets, let me let me explain my rationale here a little bit. When I say cards are like fine or like they're not a chase, like there's nothing wrong with them. It's not like they're bad. If they're bad, I'll say they're bad. I don't care. Um, but it's just like, it's more like I would pull them and be excited about it, but I'm not opening it to specifically hunt for those cards. Yes, but this one I am. Let's go. <laughs> I'm talking shiny Pikachu. I'm talking shiny Raichu, and I love shiny Raichu. That's so dope. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All day, son. All day. This is what I'm talking about with this set. This set is amazing. And uh, I don't care what you say. I think I'm right. But yeah, so I'm like opening packs, but not specifically for those guys. I'm not hunting those. I'm not like, but I'm not like upset if I pull them, you know? But that's what I'm saying, like, it's Shroud of Fable, and it's like, eh. The, the Draconia, it's like, eh. You know, like, that could be, it. I mean, it's looking like, just like Shroud of Fable, like, maybe I'll open one or two things, and then that's it, and I'll give up on it, because it's like, eh. You know, I'd have to look, I mean, like, this is one of the good cards from Shroud of Fable. Um, I'd have to look, once it's actually out and stuff, to see what the price of the cards, but that might be another one where it's just going to be like, eh, I'll just buy the singles I want and just walk away, you know? But we'll see. <laughs> All right, another regular EX. Toad's cruel. Let's go. Let's go. Toad's cruel. Toad's cruel. Toad's cruel. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. We're starting to get down to it, and I have yet to see a bubble mew. Hopefully. And I just, oh, I just want to pull it myself. That's all. I just want to pull it myself. The Gardevoir is sweet. I love it. It's great, but. I'd rather pull a Bubble Mew than pull that a, a third time. You know what I mean? Like, and not, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, <laughs> I just, I just, I want the Bubble Mew. Come on, here we go. Ultra Ball. Oink alone. Abra Shiny, yes! This, okay, this is another line of Shinies that I think are super fantastic because it's subtle. It's subtle, the color change. You know, just a little bit of like the purplish brown and then the, the yellow is just like a little bit different. <sighs> I also don't think I've pulled an Amber yet, which makes it just so much more sweeter. Look at that. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially crushing it with this booster box. Let me just, let me just say that. I wanted to, I wanted to get that out of the way real quick. It is, a, it is official. We have become official. I just, I don't know what I just did. That's weird. It has now officially been designated as crushing it. That's what I'm saying, man. How can you hate this set? How can you not like this set? I mean, I know, I know that there are people out there that don't like shiny Pokemon. And, I mean, I don't get it, but okay. You know, what a... Yes! <laughs> we got the Mankey, and now we got the Primate. Let's go. That's dope. That's dope. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And the texture on the cards. Can you see that Just on his leg right there? Beautiful card. Beautiful. Uh, 
officially crushing it. Yeah, I um I like this set, man. I like opening this set. This makes me happy. You know, this is how it should be. This is how you should feel. I don't know why all these packs are opening like garbage right now. But you know what I mean? That's why it's like when I'm opening, I, I always talk, every time I start talking about sets, I start talking about how I don't like Shrouded Fable. But that's, this is the whole thing though. Like the difference in my, in my heart and how I feel when I'm, when I'm opening the stuff, you know, that's what really drives it home for me. That's what really stands out. Like, you know, I open a lot of cards. Okay. Don't get me wrong, but it's certain sets. It's like, okay. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Um, you know, you start remembering how it makes you feel not necessarily the pulls you know what i mean like you do kind of remember like i remember the giratina you know i remember pulling the arms i remember but it's more like now i have the feeling i have the feeling of like man every time i open this set i feel good it feels fun i feel like i'm having a good time you know what i mean it's not like oh well i remember pulling this ultra rare and then this special illustration rare and then this ex from this booster bundle not necessarily some cards i kind of remember you know um but it's more about like the feeling like every time i open paldean fates man i just i have a good time i always am happy when i'm done like i'm not upset about my pulls usually so it's just uh it's a set that i like opening <laughs> because of the joy it brings me look at this guys and it's just because it's banger cards, even though these cards are only worth like 20, 30 cents. It's fine. Like the value isn't even what it's about. It's about yoinking these out of the packs and having a good time. Look at this. I got so many cards. So many. Look at it. Look at this. Should I now open, you know, some fusion strike and show you the difference? It's crazy. My mood would go down very quickly <laughs> with that. Nah, but you know, I hope you I hope you understand what I'm saying. That there's certain sets that make you feel a certain way, you know? And again, I always usually bring it back to Obsidian Flame, right? That's the set that I got back into it hardcore with. Um, where I opened a lot. Booster boxes, ETBs, tons of stuff. And um, it's always going to have a special place in my heart, man. Always. Because I just had so much fun with it. Uh, and yeah, and it's just the feeling of like getting back into the Pokemon cards and getting back into opening just yeah can't beat it all right we need a mew immediately immediately because we only have four packs left after this one and uh have yet to see a bump in me i mean pulling the gardevoir i'm not upset about that that's pretty sweet that at least pays for you know one of the <laughs> one of the etbs plus half a booster bundle All right, here we go. Four. Start a countdown. Four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah. Hopefully one of these has a Mew or a Charizard or an Iono. That Iono was going crazy pre-release. Um, everybody was thinking that was going to be the main chase, and then it's still Charizard. It's still Charizard is the main chase, the main money holder. You know. Nice, 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 nice. I like side like, ugh. but it's it's still good. It's still good. I'm just you know I want the Mew. I want the, that's all. That's all. But yeah, so uh, the Iono isn't even what it's top five, right? No, top six. It's top six. You got five other cards that are above it, which is crazy because when this first was going out, Iono, everyone was like, "This is the card. This is the card." Nope, not quite. Still up there though, and it's still a dope card. But not quite. The chase. Here we go. Only a few packs left. Come on. Come on. Gengar. Oinkalonge. Artisan. Moonlit Hill. Pikachu. <laughs> Pulling doubles. One after another. Hey, it happens, man. It happens. <laughs> Look at this stack, though. Come on, look at this stack. And we still got two packs left. This is crazy. All right. Just one bubble mute. Let's go.
Well, guys, uh, you know, I mean, either way, this has still been fun. Even though I didn't pull any of the cards I was chasing, except for the Raichu. That was the only one that I specifically was hoping to hit. Uh, one of the cards I was hoping to Yes! Yes, let's go! Not a Bubble Mew, but it is an Ultra Rare Espathra. Still dope. Still cool. I love it. <laughs> and it's a double banger. All right. Okay, let's go. I'll take the double bangerness. That's cool. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting that. And see how it just puts a smile on my face. I just get excited. This set is crazy. All right. We have one pack left. We have one chance left. So the main cards I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about. Well, I, I guess the Gardevoir. I was talking about the Gardevoir. I shouldn't say that. I was talking about that and that I'd be fine opening it because I am. It's great. It's a good card. Does this Pikachu contain Bubble Mew? I hope it does. I hope it. that would be fantastic. I could get the Gardevoir and Bubble Mew in one opening here. Oof. 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 That would be great. All right. Here we go. Pampy. Chin Chow. The room. Charmander, last pack magic, last pack magic, bubble mew, bubble mew. Oh, <laughs> squawkabilly! Don't do it to me, brother. Don't do it to me. <laughs> the bubble mew can still be behind this, it can still be here. Well, I mean, still last pack magic, just not quite the magic we were looking for. That's okay. Look at all these cards. Give me a second. Let me sort this out. All right, guys. So here are our pulls for today. Oh, my God. 20. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 hits out of this. Out of 36 packs, 26 hits. That's fantastic. Look at this. I got the Gardevoir EX. Probably it is my favorite card of the day. And then my second two favorites, the Abra and the Raichu. Also two shinies I really enjoy. So many bangers. So much fun stuff. So much cool things going on. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did too. Um, don't forget I stream live every Thursday and Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Come check me out. We open tons of packs like this, and we have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. I hope you guys do, too, when we do the lives, but I do. I also opened a store. There's a store. Here's the URL. There's also a link in the description. Uh, you can buy some mystery packs, or there's some Crown Zenith stuff on there. Tons of cool stuff on my website. And then lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.